Alright everybody, today we are going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions. We are not going to worry about fractions with different denominators. So what's a denominator, you say? Well, let me go ahead and get started and show you. So when you add and subtract fractions, one of the things that you have to absolutely make sure is that the denominator, or the bottom, is the same. So, if we have a fraction, let's look here, two-thirds. Up top is what's known as the numerator. So whenever you hear anybody in math say the numerator, they're talking about the top number in the fraction, so the 2. On the bottom is not the terminator, but the denominator. So whenever you hear anyone talk about the denominator, they're talking about the bottom number. Now when we're adding and subtracting fractions, the things that we have to make sure are the same are that whatever we're adding and subtracting, the denominators must be the same. If they're the same, it's pretty easy breezy. This first lesson, this first part, we're going to focus on adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator. Alright, so let's do an example. Let's look at 2 over 6 plus 3 over 6. Alright, so in this instance you'll notice that my denominator, or the bottom number, is the same. 6 and a 6. When this is the case, we can do something really easy breezy. All you got to do is go shoop, and you put that 6 right there because they're the same, right? Now, what you do with the numerators is something pretty easy too. All you do, you take this first one, so 2, do whatever this sign says, in this case it's plus, so 2 plus 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. So the moral of the story is, if the denominators are the same, you just immediately put over the denominator on the bottom of your answer, and you add or subtract the tops, the numerators. Right? So 2, 6 plus 3, 6 equals 5, 6. Cool? So let's try another one. We are going to do 7 elevenths minus 4 elevenths equals. Alright. So this is a subtraction problem. First thing we got to do again, we got to check the denominators, make sure they're the same. What do we have? We have 11. We have 11 here. 11 is the same as 11. So we're just going to go shoo. And on our answer, we're going to put down 11 because it's the same denominator. Cool? Up top, we have 7 minus 4. The numerators, we just we, we treat it like a normal addition or subtraction problem. So 7 minus 4 is 3. So 7 elevenths minus 4 elevenths equals 3 elevenths. Pretty simple. So the moral of the story is, as long as your denominators are the same, you just treat the top like any other addition or subtraction problem. You go ahead and do that operation, and you get the answer over the same denominator. All right, go ahead, work on some of the problems that you might already have, the homework that your teacher might have given you. Be sure to check that the denominators are the same. When you get to any addition or subtraction problems of fractions with different denominators, you're going to, you're going to want to check out the other lesson. All right, cool. Thanks a lot, and good luck.